Hello there guys and welcome to this video we are going to be talking to you about Windows 8 Professional. Okay so this is part 2 of this series. Uh, in this part 2 we're going to be looking at some of the apps that are featured in Windows 8, uh, how Windows 8 works uh, etc. Okay if you haven't seen part 1 yet click the button below uh, to go back is going to make a lot more sense if you watch the first one. Okay, so this is the desktop to Windows 8, uh, just as Windows 7 was, just with different background, that's all. So you can still have your sliding um, photo background on Windows 8. There you go. Uh, you can also see that from the personalized, it's much like Windows 7. So there's not much different there. But the first thing that I'm going to show you that is different is the start menu. So Microsoft have decided to get rid of the start button altogether and replace it with nothing. So you've got to scroll down to the bottom left hand corner and press on the sort of corner of the screen. And from this you'll then see all of the Windows 8 apps. This will include the mail app for getting your hotmail uh, or emails like that. The maps, games and other applications that you've installed. So if we go to say the mail app to start with, we can then see that loads fairly quickly. Uh, and this shows you your emails, pretty straightforward. And to pop back to the uh, start menu, uh, go to the left hand corner again or we can click the start button on the keyboard which will also send us back. Okay, so we can also see that all of the desktop programs are still working in Windows 8 such as the window, uh, such as the 7-zip uh, file manager so that's all good. Go back to start menu uh, we can also go to the calendar from this we can see people's birthdays uh, and events that are happening but I've used a, used a different account so you can't see them. Okay so next one is people. From this you can see all your contacts, your Facebook friends, Twitter contacts, exchange contacts, LinkedIn and other ones like that. Okay then there's messaging. From this you'll be able to see the messages that you sent over the internet or if you've got a Windows phone it'll link in there so we all know that Windows phones are brilliant so much like the Apple uh, Macs and the iPhones they link together just as Windows phones and the new Windows 8 OS so back to the start menu uh, we've also got a desktop button so that'll send us back straight to the desktop where we came from Okay, I'm going to sh now show you the Internet Explorer. This is Internet Explorer 10, which is featured in Windows 8. Okay, so the search bar is at the bottom. Okay, we can go to Google and it will show you your recent sites and suggestions at the bottom. So we can go there. Uh, maybe try Bing, it also knows that. So we can go straight there. Okay. So we just pop back now. Oh, and by the way, uh, in the Internet Explorer, you'll notice that if you right click, you've got all your tabs at the top. Um, still got your in private mode um, and your other options. It's a bit more of a cut down version of IE. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the store. This is the sort of equivalent to the Mac App Store. And from here, we'll be able to choose apps that we can download and install and use. Most of them are free, um, although, although not all of them. And you'll notice that as more and more copies get sold um, to the public, you'll notice that more apps become available. So at the moment there's not that many, but it will grow. So if we go into the Twitter app, and we can install that app, Okay. 
so it will then start installing in the background okay so we can return to the um, start menu I can see that Twitter was installed so you can click on that and it will open it and then you sign in with your Twitter user ID and password and then it will take you to your Twitter I suppose okay so the maps I'm not going to show you because that will show you where I live and I don't want that to happen uh, SkyDrive that's pretty straightforward that will just link to your uh, files that are based on the cloud okay so that's pretty simple we can go here uh, we can create a new folder upload files and such like okay photos we can see recent photos that have been taken and ones that I've taken although I haven't taken any because I've just created this account so so there um, the weather we can have a look at the uh, current weather for a certain location you can also look at other locations as well so we'll just say London for now and we can see that it is 21 degrees and sunny if we scroll over we can see the hourly forecast maps the weather data for the past sort of uh, year I suppose and if we pop back we can see the news okay so we've got to different uh, this is updated now we've got this guy here which I'm not going to go through because it's not anything, not anything to do with what I w wanted to talk about so yeah there's different news events here okay so we now pop back to the start menu there's a Bing app so you can go straight to Bing and go straight to Google because Google it's better uh, and then we go to Google and it should take us there we go to the Google homepage and that will open the Internet Explorer window okay so we've got travel which I haven't tried actually um, so as soon as that loads okay so we can see different places around the world so let's pick a place um, I don't know Tokyo you can see you can see exchange rates weather flights things like that so I pop back and we've got stocks which I'm not going to go through sport which is just like the news app but sport related okay so there's again an update that's just come through here from about the Olympics and you can add some of your favourite teams uh, okay so I'm I'm not a uh, big sport fan so I don't bother you can get your games so if you've got Xbox Live um, you can look at all your achievements and things like that you've also got games such as pinball uh, wordment things like that so you can go ahead and find some games from the Windows Game Store you've got your camera uh, music so if you're playing any music it will play through this app so that's basically the new Windows Media Player uh, also video okay and once again you've got your desktop apps and the Twitter app which I've already been through so what you can do if you go to the bottom one corner and click on the little minus sign you can then zoom out so if you've got lots of apps along the whole of the screen you can just uh, see them there and obviously you'll be able to scroll across um, and get them and you've got all these pretty live tiles so you've got that picture I showed you before the Bing and they, they're updating as well uh, okay so if we drag our mouse to the top right of the screen or top or bottom left rather um, we can then see we've got different icons that we can click 
so search search for apps and files okay um, you can share so as you get more apps they all uh, build up that um, they'll, they'll be able to start sharing between between different devices and computers start menu devices and settings now if we pop into settings we can see that we've got the Wi-Fi options audio options brightness keyboard if you're using like a tablet or, or whatever so you can just change the language settings as well power so we can shut down restart and everything there notifications in there uh, also click on the tiles so we can show administrative tools there and now we can go to change PC settings so th this is the control panel okay so at the minute I'm not activated but who cares personalize you can change your background on the logon screen I can't do that yet because I haven't uh, activated it it's one of the stupid ideas Microsoft have had you can change your account picture start screen all that sort of stuff users you can go into your uh, user account create local accounts uh, add some others things like that notifications so when you're at your start screen you'll notice the um, the different apps showing notifications so if you have a new tweet um, or you've been mentioned you'll notice that a little icon comes up in the bottom left corner of the um, logon screen showing that you have a new tweet search share general so you can change your time settings things like that okay app switching things like that privacy devices wireless uh, make it so you can go on airplane mode turn off all wireless it's, it's much more like a phone now uh, the windows 8 os it's more like a win windows phone so you've got ease of access sync your settings home group windows update so we can see that we've got an update here for windows defender but i'm not going to do that now and now i'm going to show you some of this sort of multitasking here are the apps that i've had open that i've been showing you uh, you can switch back to them by clicking the left hand corner I'm doing that okay so if we go back to the start menu now uh, go to the desktop now this is something else i've seen the task manager is much simpler if you want it to be simple you can see all the apps that we've had open now if you want it to be a little bit more complicated click more details and we can see that I've got Camtasia running because that's what I'm, I'm recording with and you would have thought that all those apps that have been hidden away that are still running in the background would be using up CPU uh, they're not because they've actually been suspended which is why it's showing 0% so we go to the performance uh, we can see that this is a quarter duo machine it's got 4 gigs of RAM and uh, you can see the hard disk going in the Wi-Fi you go to app history, startup, users, see different users logged in, details and services. So thanks for checking out my video on the new Windows 8 OS. Don't forget to check out my, my other videos uh, on my channel. Okay, so please like, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my new Facebook page at facebook.com slash Ben's Tech Tips and before you go one thing I want you to uh, comment below, I want you to comment to tell me whether you like it, what could be improved and whether you will be installing it on your new PC. So thanks for watching.